Hey everyone, this is David from Magma Dive in Iceland. We're here at a dive site called Barney's Crack, which in Icelandic means Barney's Crack, someone's crack. And uh, what you've got here is an amazing tectonic fissure filled with salt water from the ocean and glacial water from the land. And what that does is create a halo climb inside. So when we're diving down there, it looks very misty and very hazy, which is kind of cool. And a lot of divers have never seen this before. What makes this site special also is the life that's living down there. And we've got some flatfish down there. We've got crabs living on the bottom. There's also small little eels that uh, hide in the shadows and these amazing little shrimps that are found in the shallow areas. So there's plenty to see down there. Very cool stuff. Now, before we go diving, let's show you guys at home what equipment I'm using today. Okay. This is. That's it. BCD. Nice and easy. Okay. Let me show you guys Kubi dry gloves. So, with the Kubi dry glove setup, you've got an outer glove and you've got an inner glove. The inner glove goes over the hand like this. And you can see I've also got a seal. So if the dry gloves do leak, I'm not going to have water come in my suit, which is kind of nice. And you can slip on a neoprene mitten or a glove underwater if you need to. So these are very, very easy to put on. All you have to do, squeeze your hand through the ring very gently. Put the glove onto your fingers like that. And this is the easy part. You've literally got this going into this, just with a little click like that. Like that. Make sure it's in. And once I jump into the water, the hydrostatic pressure is gonna lock this really, really tight. And it's a very, very unique system. I'm going to put the weight belt on. Lean forward to put this on. And you want to try to have the weights on your hips so that it's nice and comfortable and it's not digging into your stomach. Was a hell of a dive and what I loved about this place was the fact that you've got ocean water mixing with the fresh water in this the most amazing uh, shimmering effect you've ever seen very very unique if you've never seen that before what I also love about this place is it looks like Silfra but it's much more spooky and much more kind of eerie looking so it's a very unique atmosphere and you've got all the little insects playing around in the darkness so a little bit of marine life there for photographers something for everybody ah. wow it's really hot today which in Iceland is quite surprising 
18 degrees, I believe. The thing is, on a hot day, when you're in this suit, you can sweat, and that often gets you a little bit damp on the inside, so the winter is almost nicer in many ways, but not all the time because it's dark. The dry gloves worked really well down there and uh, you don't even think about your hands being wet or cold. They're just completely encased inside the glove and they work really well. So I would recommend dry gloves to anyone. Look at that, sweat. It's amazing to think that you would sweat this much, which proves how hard you work in dry suit diving. On a day like today, very important to slow down. Slow down your respiration, slow down your movement, so that you don't overexert yourself and get heat exhaustion before you go in the water. Uh, but it's all worth it in the end, you know. Nothing like a good day's diving. Oh, not bad or any sponsor.